Hello, our water signs, and welcome to Shadow of Judgment. It's your weekly read. You know, just to see where you're at for the week. This is for the week of September 6th to the 13th. For anyone who's new to this channel, this is where I look at the shadows. All the things behind them, the subconscious, things that are happening around you, you might not even be aware about. What goes on in the circle as well as outside of it, in all four corners. Boop your nose. Just for a week, though. That's all. Hey, water signs, you're up first. Ew. You got three cards. You got two cards. Both of them reverse. Someone ain't making a move, and someone's just too judgmental and bitchy to make a move. Very man child like energy. Hmm. Fuck it. I'll let you have it. You can have both cards. Yeah. Is that my husband? No. Honestly, I don't hear his car when it comes up. It always kind of creeps me out. Either way, Cancer, you're up first. So let's see what's going on with your Shadow of Judgment. Just one quick shuffle, and we will begin, my lovelies. Ugh. Let us see. We got the Queen of Pentacles, Reverse, Demanding Woman. Expects a lot. Could be an overbearing mother, cheating spouse, all of that shit, right? And the Emperor, Reverse, and he is just, like, very, just angry, and he's not even looking at her, I feel like. Or is he? Which I never remember. Yeah, he's looking away from her. Just like, you disgust me. Or some shit, right? Grouch, you know? Things did not work out between these two. He might be shunning her. She might be expecting some more from him, even though, like, he's shunning her. It's something that she might manifest, or she's trying to make something manifest, right? And this dude's just really upset because his cups got spilt over and shit, right? Ew, someone's being really nasty about the shit not working out either. She's trying to manifest a victory. This dude just wants to take his cups and be gone so he can be happy. Start over again, I feel like. Ooh, okay. Dude and dude. Ooh. Damn. Cancer. Okay, I feel like this one's like, this over here is completely separate because he is just not even trying to look at any of this. So this is like totally different, right? This Emperor Reverse is averting his eyes away from something he did not like. And he has to take his cups to move on in order to be happy again, right? But on this side, there's a Queen of Pentacles right here who's reversed. Could be a cheating spouse. Could be an overbearing mom. Could be someone that just expects a lot from other people. And, like, she's trying to manifest a victory right here. And it's like, there was some right idea that came about it, right? Some kind of clarity, um, new way of thinking, some shit like that, right? And something didn't work with the King of Swords. He's all reversed and shit and feeling like he's broke. There you go, kids. You're happy now? You're happy. Okay. I don't know, Cancer. It's like this dude's in a bad mood. Mind you, cross your switch where you need to. Like, you could be dealing with a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Like, okay. What's up with this King of Swords? Or, yeah, what's up with this King of Swords? I should have asked about the Ace of Swords, but I said the King, so it's whatever. Uh, no movement going on with him. When it comes to either resurrecting something or having good judgment about something, ah, definitely could be with a Capricorn, right? Some really bad connection right here, though. Uh, people got left out in the cold and they want to come back in. They want to get back in after this ad adversity, but that requires them looking inside to get the answers or some shit that they seek. Like, this is somebody who I feel like is, um... 
like these two rows are just so backwards from each other you know like one side like someone feels like they didn't get enough so they manifested to be a victor the other person didn't work on something and now they're all mad because they're broke though and like both sides have the uh, ace of swords on it so it's kind of like it's almost like two people had their go their own ways but only one of them made big after it, you know? It's kind of like, you know, hoping your ex does worse than you, and then, like, it turns out they did better. One of those feelings. I don't know if you did this to this person, Cancer, or they did it to you, but that's what seems like's going on. But that's your shadow, man. Let's go on to Scorpio. Dude! Stop! Please! I'm not letting you out. Please don't make me move you from the door. Because now you're just being annoying on purpose. Alright, Scorpio, it's your turn. For your shadow. So let's see what's up with you. I know, sweetheart, I know. I'll let you out when I go have a cigarette, okay? You can come out with me for a bit. Let's see. Scorpio, you're walking away from something just to be happy. It's just, you're going to your better joy. All, you just dumped all these cups and was just like, fuck it. Two tears in a bucket. Yeah, la la la's wanna rock it. Don't rock it at me, son. Going sky. Okay, I totally forgot the rest of the words, but yeah. Um, something didn't feel like it, w it, it was completed here at the World Reverse either. Could also be bad karma. Then we got the High Priestess. Could be a Pisces involved. She knows things. Let's see. We also got some insecurities. You might not, you might be a little bit worried about leaving right now. I feel like, even though it's to better things, you're yeah, you're keeping your secret so you can get some wish fulfillment. Okay, that's fine. That works. Let's see. Boop. 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 Okay. Okay, Scorpio, this is most likely you because someone's offering you some bullshit, right? Um, you might be walking away from something that you just don't have love for anymore just to make yourself happy because you're way too insecure about, like, a lover situation. You're pretty bitter about how this person's showing you shit. You're keeping your secrets almost. Or I get your wish fulfillment that I think goes somewhere else. Um, but things still didn't come out feeling completely completed. You feel like you needed a little bit of a break from that, even though it feels like there's a person over here who spilled some cups over. And they're really upset about that, and it's like... Okay, there might be somebody who's trying to come back to you and offering you very little shit because they're more upset about the situation they were just in that went down the fucking tubes. They might still even be crying about that to you, Scorpio, and that just pisses you off even more. Because then that starts making you think, like, mm, are you only here because I'm the second choice for you? Is that what you're telling me? Because I can really feel you guys, like, wanting to say that shit. Why is this person offering you so little with the Page of Swords? Holding themselves, their strength back, it looks like, or they're trying to hold something back. Um, in order to be a victor somewhere, right? Have people love and praise them. Because um, number one, they're broke, and number two, they're pretty fucking sour about shit, right? And they want to communicate. Mmm. This person right here, and I, and I really don't feel like this is you, Scorpio. Because I think you've been trying to take a break, and then all of a sudden, like, this person pops up and be like, Hey, um, here's five dollars. You want to go out to eat? You know, and then they expect you to pay the rest of the bill because they're just like, oh, all I have is like five dollars. Um, sorry. Well, you can pay it, can't you? You always have money. And then it's just like, oh, so that's why you came the fuck around. Okay, I got you. I got you. Motherfucker. Pisces! Your turn. Let's see what's coming up for your shadow this week, shall we? My poor kitties. Oh. Well, I'll be able to do something this weekend, I think, for you. Can't I? 
I think my cards are supposed to be coming in on the night, so I'm really excited to see what they are. I've seen a few of them, but I really haven't um, looked at them myself. I know, like, several readers use them. I don't know how I'm going to read them when I get them, so. I know that Three of Wands one, it looks like the bird's getting shot. Like, he, like in that movie, uh, what is it, Mars Attacks, like, they released the bird and then, like, it was almost like it was a sign of war. They were just like, ah! And then, like, they killed the bird. That's what the Three of Wands reminds me. It was just like, someone should have waited instead of, like, putting their foot too far out, you know? That's what that one reminds me of. You got the Queen of Wands reverse, Pisces, so far for your shadow. What else we got? And a bad attitude with somebody. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries. Hmm. She just got her head completely turned, but she's impatient as shit. And he's just looking forward, just mean mugging, like, I don't fucking care. I do not fucking care. Um, love needs to be restored between these two. Somehow. Uh, she's avoiding the tower moment. And he's looking for a fight. Well, yeah, he was already looking for a fight being reversed as it is. Uh, uh, hearts need to, like, seriously, there's an open door between the two of you, right? She avoided a tower that could have brought her happiness? And, like, this dude wants to fight for a victory. Then we got the king of swords, or not swords, cups right there. Something quick and changeable is gonna happen. And someone's probably just gonna be pissed. They're really, really, mmm. This Queen of Wands avoided the tower, but that, I can't, but I feel like the tower avoided caused her to avoid her happily ever after, too. And the change is coming quickly, right? Now, we got someone needs to, needs to heal their broken heart in order to open the door, but Pisces, I don't know if that's you either, because that could also be Scorpio and Cancer, and I feel like this person's kind of being selfish with wanting this change, as well as this, uh unfaithful person right here. It's like, do you want to resurrect this shit? Because it might not be the best choice of ideas, you know? This King of Swords is all agitated and rude. He's looking for a fight just so he can have a win. He might be the unfaithful spouse I'm almost feeling like. I feel like you're losing your temper and you want, like, acknowledgement from this Queen of Wands, or Queen of Pentacles person and she's just not doing it. Or she's acting like you should give to her. I don't know what to pick, so I'm just laying them out, right? Something wasn't offered, or it was a shitty offer, one of the two, or something got cut off, right? So now someone's got to have their strength in all of this. Because their mind's going to be a little bit Jake. They're going to have a lot of shit on their mind. Uh, but that's okay, because they are still the Empress right here. Still sitting pretty. I think you're dwelling on the past still a little bit, though. Like a past person that you loved before. I'll draw one more for you. Someone you liked. Someone you cared a lot about. Someone who might be a little bit of a mischievous motherfucker. And... I don't know if this is good. I don't know if this is good. Like, are you sure? Because I feel like you almost want to get back with this person because you think they would make you happy. And it's like this dude... And, like, this person's got the King of Swords, and it's like... Like, you know, Queen of Wands, she's a lot younger, so she's got a lot more hope. King of Swords over here is a bit older. So the cynicism, like, it runs deep. It's like a, a generational curse. <laughs> but I feel like that with this person. It's just like, okay, man. like, But if this is the person you want, like, go for it. Like, no shame in the game, man. But, Water Signs, that is what I got for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe if you want to. No pressure, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.